Now, because we are on the web and uh, the people would like to know a little bit uh, things, uh, not only of the United States, so uh, these are the source, uh, it's a long list of uh, source uh, uh, the references, and it's showing the health care cost in uh, six states. Let me just describe that is uh, 1980. Uh, Sweden was spending more than the United States. But after that, the United States far spending more. And pro capita, also the United States has always been higher than everybody else. So, you see, uh, Italy and... The, well, I, I will let you uh, look at the, 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 the scale of this. Now, what is the product? Now we get into uh, more in depth of this part. I, in order to show the, I, I will uh, represent this product under the physical layout and logical layout. So concept and hardware and physical. And uh, however, the main component on this machine are the detector. The detector is the crystal, the element that is detecting the photons, and then the electronics. And there are two sections of the electronics. One electronics that is detecting the photons, filtering the photons, is measuring and trying to identify that 511 kilo electron volt photons. And then there is another section of the electronic that is putting together the two information from different parts of the detector. And it's called coincidence. So it's finding those in time coincidence that occur within a certain time. Then, uh, we have the software. The software is the director of orchestra. <laughs> it's the thing that uh, combines combines everything. So let's. Uh, okay, let's go to the physical layout. So the physical layout. Uh, you see from the picture, I. Uh, put some colors so you can separate the, those, those three, the detector, the photon detection electronic, and the coincidence detection electronic. And the software is behind it, behind the, all, all this, okay? So there is a fourth element that we don't see here. Now, the logical layout, the logical layout, we have, uh, again, uh, here it's a logical, uh, more description of the detector that is a barrel. If you unroll the barrel, then you get an, a, a, an array, X, Y array. And then if you map each element of this array to a similar array with the same dimension, that is an electronic, electronic channels. And then, if there is an information that goes to one of these that here is magnified on the top, that is called a 3D flow processor, means is receiving data from the top and is communicating to the data to the north, east, west, south, and sending the result to the bottom. Okay. However, because you would like to capture all the photons, not lose any of them, then the first one will go to the first processor. And then while this processor is busy, the second event, we go to the second layer of processor, layer, I call it an array, a completely independent array of processor, and so on, until you put as many layers as the complexity of your algorithm and the array. So you have to cope with the input array, you have to execute the complete the algorithm, those two parameters are the ones that are determined in the layer, number of layers. And that <laughs> will guarantee there will be dead time free electronic. We cannot have dead time free on detectors because detectors are different. There are some slow and some fast. And that's nothing we can do about it. Anyway, let's suppose that we got a photon that is recognized here as a good 511 kilometer volt. You got another one here that is also a 511 kilometer volt. Then you go down the road here, and there is a funneling, funneling uh, of the data to a single point, and at that point, the time coincidence is checked. 
means the software is checking the time of these two photos. If they arrive almost at the same time, almost within 6, 10 nanoseconds, then, okay, uh, one nanosecond is, is one foot in line. And so if we would like to capture all the one that gets from this part of the body a longer path with the one that has a, a shorter path, then if we give a centimeter and uh, the detector and the electronic is idea, then we should give three nanoseconds. That is not the case because it's not ideal, so we give it a little more. Anyway, this is the director of orchestra, that is the software, and uh, the, the section on this box, green, is the section that uh, is the software that will supervise the machine, check for uh, faulty components, cables, and uh, uh, monitoring the, the activity of uh, all the uh, hardware. Instead, all the other software is software that is used to develop the machine. And I call it project management. On the left, we have a software development. On the right, we have a hardware development. On the middle, we have the key element, the components, that is the 3D flow processor, the, like the, the, the smallest entity of, of this uh, overall system, and then the real-time algorithm. The real-time algorithm is uh, that uh, sequence of operation that is identifying the photos. So it, it's a sequence of operation is, is we will see adding the surrounding element for each processor, uh, summing the one to the right, summing the one to the left, making a subtraction, and see the centroid for the ends, and then the centroid for the y. So all this is the algorithm. Now, how does it look on the computer? You get a window like this. Each one of the blue is a uh, uh, a processor seen from, from, the, from the top and then this is seen from the side this is showing you the flow of the data from top to bottom, bottom to top this is showing you the flow of the data north, east, west, south and this allows you to develop a, a, and simulate the entire system the entire plan before construction so now I am back to the original statement, the claims that I put on the press release. And uh, it's better that I can support and justify those claims, otherwise uh, there was no reason of putting on the press release. So we will uh, start one by one. The first is the new architecture, I claim, of my electronic using a set of DSP, digital signal processor, on each electronic channel. So, the figure that we saw before that was the logical layout, the concept, the physical layout, here I am showing you the detail. The detail, it fits here on the logical layout, it fits here on the hardware. Okay? So you will not lose track when you go into the detail, what am I, what am I talking about? So here is how we started the design. The design is the concept of this processor or electronic that is receiving a data from a sensor, is exchanging data north, east, west, south with the neighbor, and then is communicating with the next one. And this simplifies a lot the, the layout of the board. If, if this concept, it simplifies the layout. In fact, it simplifies, but uh, if one organizes the chip in a certain way, Tell the truth, this board has been first given to a, a company. They were experts producing and designing board for a large company like the I and so on. And after two weeks, they returned it to me and said, there is no way that we can uh, uh, design this because they hit two uh, obstacles. One obstacle they said, we can only put 16 layer on an IBM PC because the thickness should be 64 meters. 